do that. Mm, 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 mm. We don't have a quarter pipe to do that. Yeah. So nobody's ever learned it. And like, like when you think now, one of the best skaters in the country is Moses Adams. And he came to Boogaloo's when he was like, I mean, about two or three inches taller than his skateboard. He was like six or seven years old, like riding six foot quarters. So like now when he gets to a big quarter, he still remembers and knows what to do. But like so many other skateboarders that do a little flip under coping or. Yeah. I mean, there are obviously good dudes. I don't follow skateboarding that much anymore. But like the The, general standard can like that's why our street skaters are really good. mm. And tech dudes are like amazing because that's all they can skate. But there's like almost no park. Yeah, I just wish uh, also that uh, like even if you look at trails. I think too many owners are involved in decision making in trails. Yeah. It's like, listen. But that, that's that's the same to me as like like a government building, like construction company building a skate park. Mm. It's like, I mean, I don't want to talk bad to anybody because like I know most of the guys that are building trails in the scene and stuff. But like, there's a lot of guys that ride, but because of the riding, the level of their riding, their trail building kind of goes to that level. Mm. And it doesn't progress past it. And like, also, I know that there are a lot of places that have like security issues and stuff. So you can't build a jump higher than so many meters or they're building with spades. So it's not easy to do it or whatever. You know, there's, there's lots of reasons. So I'm sitting on the side talking about it. But like, I understand that there are reasons why the things are like this. But like, there's certain trails and stuff where you just like, dude, this will improve the scene a hundred times more than having a million kilometers of single track. That's just like, you have a tight corner and then like two meters later, you have a jump and you're like, Bro, you've lost yeah. all your speed. How are you like? No, I know. jump in a place where you have speed. You know, like that. That's one or two trails around the place. I'm Most gonna, of them are I'm pretty gonna good. I'm going to mention but, a story. I'm going to leave out the names. But one trail builder, they were doing quite a big shoot. Yeah. They built huge jumps. They got trucks to dump in stuff. Yeah. The trail builder couldn't be there the day, so the truck came in, and the uh, owner had to say where to dump the yeah. load, and it was a few meters off kilter and oh, now shit. they now to move the whole thing yeah you know and then you're on a time schedule because the photo shoot is happening and you know so there's so many things where i wish the um like let's say you're an accountant like fuck you know what your specialty is they yeah. this one specialty and i wish they would just leave the trail builders to sometimes build plus if they just spend a little bit of extra money yeah. you can build jumps that are safe yeah, exactly. Which are tabletops. But because you don't want to invest in a couple of extra hours of moving dirt and rocks, yeah. we have to build doubles. Yeah. You know, or buy plastic fucking uh, crates, uh, the wine crates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put um, that in, like, I don't know, there's a lot of things that they can do and it will be better for the industry because then more people will come out to the parks, more yeah. people will be buying bicycles. Like, Yeah, and if you're, yeah, if you're trails, I mean, like, if you look, I mean, I keep talking about Hulsend all the time, but it's like, it's one of the sickest places. But they're doing what we're talking about. Exactly, they're doing it right. Like, and that's what I really enjoy is like, they they have shuttle days. And like, I mean, like they used to have them like once a month, maybe once every two months, but they're having them like almost every two weeks now. Bro, they have like, the turnout is ridiculous every time. Well done. There's people and they come all day, bro. They ride from 10 in the morning when it opens, like until like six, seven, until it's dark. Yeah. And I mean, like, there's a lot of kids that will just keep going, but dude, there's adults that are going all day, like yeah. literally like stopping for maybe like 10 minutes to have a booty roll and then they're back on the bike. Dude, and they're I going love again. people like, over 40 hitting trails. I'm bro, like fucking respect, man. Dude, there's one of the BMXs is 48, bro. He's still yeah. making it through the line. And he's like, he emails me and he's like, oh no, I'm not doing the biggest tricks or anything anymore. I'm like, dude, you're actually riding, bro. Like yeah. most dudes your age are sitting at home with the kids, like definitely not thinking about climbing on their bike, dude. Most yeah. guys like, even in their late thirties are not thinking about climbing. I think people bike. don't realize that like, if you get a cool crew to cycle with, like I cycle with Kurs, Yeah. and then I do like, I feel insecure because he's fucking working yeah, 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 this. Yeah, the level is not uh, He's just stoked that I'm coming. Yeah. He's like stoked that I'm trying. Yeah. And I do like a 30 centimeter jump and he's like, sweet dude, like you've been scared of that jump. And then yeah, it develops yeah, yeah. to a meter gap. And then I think the biggest gap I did was six or seven meters, six meters, yeah. 6.5. And he appreciates the evolution. Yeah. He's like, well done, dude. Or he'll sometimes be like, dude, I can see you're not feeling good today. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, take it or easy. Or do yeah. it or... But that's, that's the whole thing is that's why I say with the, with the fest guys as well is like, 
everybody's there to help each other no matter what your skill level is like yeah. everybody's stoked that you're there and like taking part like yeah. i mean i don't even ride but they're stoked and i'm stoked on what they're doing and taking yeah. photos of it and stuff just and like, find a cool crew and it's one of the best sports you can do yeah, plus yeah. i think what i loved about doing some of the stuff it puts life into perspective like life sometimes boring at your job yeah. there's all this bullshit and politics and whatever and then you do stuff that you're scared to do and <laughs> You do it sometimes, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like you walk past the average person in the street. He's like, "You don't know what I did today." Yeah, 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 yeah. When was the last time you were scared you're gonna break a leg or a yeah. neck? And I don't know. There was something about that that you do stuff that scares you a couple of hours a week, and it just yeah. puts the rest of the week into perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're like you feel alive because you're using your body. You like doing stuff that you're scared of. You, you know, you, it makes you feel like you're yeah. actually like. But then I, I became retarded as well uh, because yeah, of all of that. I just pushed too hard at the latter stage. No, I just I just started getting old and my knees started creaking and stuff. Like, <laughs> fuck you. I mean, I go I go skating every now and again still, but like I'm on my retirement years. Like I'm not under any delusion that I'm doing any crazy stuff yeah. anymore. So like I'll go to the park and I'll chill there and go and skate. Like mainly for fitness, but like recently I've been pretty bad and like I've only gone like once every two months once every three months sometimes I'm like yo dude it's like freaking the end of February or like beginning of March or something and I haven't skated this year yet like yeah. so uh, I mean and it used to be like Andre, I don't know if, if Andre sent you the video of him crashing and he had to get shoulder surgery four uh, weeks ago no also Jeez. so dude like um no, I, that's where bikes scare me, dude. Because your hands are on the handlebars, and like I don't, I, like I'm bad on bikes. I know yeah. it. So if I go over the bars, like collarbone something, and I'm like, uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't need that. Anymore. Riding with, like, I don't know, man. I keep, like, I keep my riding. I'm lucky. Strong. My newest hobby. I bought a boxing bag this week, oh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I found a new spot on the farm where I put up the boxing bag, and then I do like an hour of hitting that, and it's <laughs> fantastic. I just find different hobbies, uh, but I think some people are just they're pushing too hard. It's like this is my only hobby this is my only yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm quite bad like that actually like I find one thing and I get like tunnel vision on it for like a long time yeah uh, and that's how like my skating was like that and then it turned into the photography like yeah and how can I say like it's 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 good in a way and bad in another way because like yeah. you get super fixed into one path yeah. and if like it helps you to be you it, become better it helps you to become good but like then it's also like you're not branching out a lot so it Ugh, with everything, with, yeah, everything, yeah, everything, everything you have your stuff. So, but like, I've just found with my personality, I get into like one thing and I get into that solidly. And Dude, like, you know, yeah, for me, that's what I miss like, about trail building. I would literally build three hour, four hours a day, five, six sometimes. Then I'll go home and I'll fucking obsess about that berm and I'll be like, there's not enough rocks. Where can I get more rocks? Where can I get dirt? Then I'm like, Okay, I'll be able to do that, but can Chris or Andre, what would they say? Yeah, but that, that's the best thing and about passion, bro. And then I'll just bro, fucking like, obsess about it. Yeah. And then I'll be like, and then I'm working like 12 hours a day and I'll be like, fuck, I can't yeah, get yeah. there. I can't. And I've even gone into like my work suit and then I go in and I'm like, what's the drainage like today? And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck, it's like dark, but I'm, and I, I love yeah. it. I got so balls deep into that. No, but that, that, I mean like anything that you get passionate about, like obsessing over it is the fun part. Like it seems crazy to everybody else. And yeah. like, I know, I know that I irritate people like crazy with certain stuff I'm passionate about because yeah. I know that they're not really interested in it. But I'm going to mm. talk about it whether you like it or not, bro. Um, like, planted, so, um, planted the groei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a b botanical experiment. Yeah, no, dude. Like, like, yeah. Anything I do, I get like a bit over over enthusiastic yeah. about, good, and bro. like, like sometimes I feel sorry for the other people, but I'm like you you know what i'm happy i don't give a fuck about what you think about my my happiness about this like if if you don't like what i'm passionate about well yeah, then when you talk about yourself. what you're passionate about well i also yeah. will fucking act my wife just like laughs at me and she's like you're weird but i like it yeah dude i'm gonna finish on this um projects uh, that people should check out just remind them where they can catch you anything important that you feel like you want to mention we already said at a freaking eric yeah that's all my insta stuff um yeah, I don't really have a website or anything like that. Most of my stuff just goes online to like other websites and stuff. So like you know, a lot of it will be on Monster Energy. Otherwise, I share stuff on Facebook and stuff. What's so. that LW mag that uh, you sent that me? It, uh, it used to be a print magazine, locally whipped. Mm -hmm. and, um, but then obviously because print is uh, not really the most... Uh, financially stable uh, option to do they went online so now they do like ugh, music and like hot chicks and 
like action stuff and whatever so all the everything MX stuff 15 year old boys like exactly so it's like yeah pretty much like like blunt mag type of vibe yeah. like that that type of thing that they that what's the um on the 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 surf magazines always like you had these two girls in the bikini with a bum looking at the waves yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> <of course. laughs> unfortunately with mountain biking i don't get to take those kind of shots too often <laughs> surf chicks are way better than the mountain bike yeah, chicks yeah, yeah, yeah. um and the uh, trailblaze is there anything happening on that side uh that we did uh roosterfarians this year trailblaze like uh, because of the nature of the project like we kind of easy going with it it's like once a year maybe once every two but years but can people whatever. check like, that out somewhere uh yeah we've got both of them are on pink bike okay uh so if you check pinkbike.com just go and uh go Tra- and search for trailblaze it's uh, under my account so it'll be under Let's my just name. explain to people what that is uh it was basically because like a lot of the stuff we were uh, like i mean it's uh thomas is one of the videographers he's like quite a bit younger he's in his early 20s um, and then I, I like we ba- basically the media guys like he does all the filming and I do all the all the stills for Darkfest like mm. during all the build and stuff, um, and like then we part of the trails crew so we all like all buddies and um, yeah basically like so many mountain bikers and like cross country dudes and enduro dudes or whatever they all take it so serious and you need the right gear and you need the yeah. right like you say the guys looking at, at the guy's gear instead of looking at they it in the eyes out of a cosmopolitan exactly and it's like bro this isn't fucking FHM we're living in the real world like you don't yeah. need to have the best gear or whatever like so we were just like we want to take the piss out of this shit we want to rail trail bikes like as fucked up as we can we mm. want to fucking have the best time ever we want to make mountain biking about like what we're talking about like you want to go through a corner wild and like kick up so much roost that like look back and see your friend like disappearing into a cloud of dust and like <laughs> falling over and laughing and like so yeah anyway we like got all the guys to dress up in like either potty shirts or Duran's got his wig and his beanie yeah, on yeah, and he's yeah. like rolled up piece of paper in his mouth like a joint <laughs> and the funniest thing is with that dude that always blows me away the dude he's like he's the most up for that shit but he doesn't drink he doesn't smoke he yeah. doesn't like Bro, I don't think he's ever had a girlfriend. He's like the most clean, like straight, straight age. dude. Like, and you will never know it, bro. I, I like, I knew the dude for mm. like probably about eight years. I didn't even. Know I him. think he studied at university graphic design or something. Dude, he's amazing, bro. And like, he does that for for, for trailblazers as well. Like for the first one, he kept quiet and didn't say anything, bro. Then the next one, he's like, oh, I can do titles, like this little quiet. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Why didn't you tell anybody? Like, this is sick. We can all, like, add our different, like, we all obviously add what we've got within the cycling. But, like, because mm. with the photography, like, I've played around with Photoshop quite a lot. So I play around with designs and stuff. He's good with the text, doing, like, smoke effects and, like, all sorts of weird shit. And then, like, Thomas with the editing. Justin builds the trails. Like, Duran builds the trails yeah. as well. Like I saw know, the so first the one. Whole, the whole crew is just, like everybody has so much to put on the table that mm-hmm. like by the end of the project we have a fucking mad feast because like yeah. everybody's got like two or three things that they can all add into the pot yeah and like by the end of it i mean we obviously did the whole fucking like getting it on the, the weed analogy as well like with yeah. having duran like and blazing the trail or whatever so <laughs> like but it's it's because people are so tight ass about everything it's like just relax bro yeah. it's fun just like, have a good time the, the reason you ride your bike when you're a kid is you like pedaling full out for like a little bump of dirt and you're hucking yourself and you don't know what you're doing but you're having the best time in the world bro where did you go wrong in your life that now you have to cut some dude out when he's riding and he's yeah. just dude that's what riding is about so I, that's that's pretty much like and it's it started out not being work for us we were just like mm. this this is like to break away from everything but people like it so much that yeah. they're actually approaching us and saying like how can we get on board and how can we sponsor or yeah. how can we add a little bit so it, like people are actually keen on what we're doing and it i mean when you have fun that's what i like my whole career pretty much has been based around fun if i enjoy doing something i'll do it again yeah if i don't enjoy it i'm not going to do it again i really enjoyed shooting bmxing and mountain biking so i've yeah. been doing it for the last 12 years like it, it, when i start not enjoying it which i don't really see coming but like if i find something else or whatever then i move on to that yeah, but like yeah. So I don't want to, like, that's why I enjoy shooting the free ride side of things, because I don't like the races. I don't like the timing. I don't like the organized structure. I don't like that, like, it feels like I'm back in school, dude. It feels like I don't have a nine to five job because I don't want to feel like I'm in that, like, system of yeah. just, you know. The, 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 For so. me, it's like uh, if, you want, if, if you're a cyclist and you forgot a little bit what it's about, don't put on your cycling pants. Put on a normal baggy. Yeah, exactly. Don't put on your cycling shirt. Just put on a fucking t-shirt. Dude, I, yeah, and I mean, maybe like, just the, like the cycling shoes. Like if you've got like yeah. nice uh, five tens or yeah, something nice and strong that you're not going to hurt yourself. That but, actually has the grip. Yeah. But like once I go into normal clothing, 
Yeah, it's, like I it's go relaxed. down this trail in a different way that I normally so do. Is, Even I, if you go down in a vest, if you're not going to do, if you do no, stuff dude, that I've, you know. Like I'm 100%, like I saw it actually on a podcast that I watched the other day. It's like the way you dress, it makes you feel different. Mm. And if you feel different, you ride different. Like I remember when I was a tiny kid, bro. Like if I think back on it now, it's like the most cringe thing ever. But like I cut, I got baggy jeans and I cut them off like not three quarters, but like long shorts. And yeah. like for me, I was like, oh, with my knee pads just hidden, that was like the best thing ever. And I yeah. felt so cool that day. Mm-hmm. Like, and I had the best fun skating. But like it's, it, it's crazy how like just changing like what you wear, it makes you feel super different. And no, definitely, man. And the... Uh like I sometimes even like uh, what I don't like about I listen to a podcast with uh, Lance Armstrong and he doesn't cycle anymore and he says it's just it's it takes so much time like you've got to put on all your gear then you yeah, go cycle yeah, yeah. and come back and that's why he does a lot of jogging so what I did is like I dress normally in baggies t-shirt and shoes and sometimes I wear like fucked up sneakers and I'm lucky yeah. that I've got a trail 10 meters from my front door yeah I'll sometimes literally just go home on a helmet oh, and fucking hit the trail and obviously i don't go crazy and i'm like it's so lacquer like there's something very free about that yeah like i mean but that's the thing is like i've also seen on the whole helmet issue like people go crazy and like dude i'm the first person to say like don't don't mess with your head bro like yeah. you you know better than i do like head injuries you don't play with like body is fine but like yeah it, it's just like if you know your limits you know how you ride like I know Sam could ride down most trails without a helmet, be really safe Mm. and not go too crazy and you'll be fine, dude. So like, why do the fucking street skaters and BMXs a lot of time not want to wear helmets? I still don't get that. No, I mean like for me, when I was skating, like... We're going to finish on this because I can see we're approaching (laughs) two hours here. Shit. (laughs) But that blows my mind to see certain sports, like action sports, where they don't wear it. And I'm like, it's not part of the culture. And I'm like... It's it's really weird because like I was in it, so I understand it. But it's really hard to explain because to other people it seems crazy. But like I knew when I was going to fall on my head. There was only one time I fell on my head. It wasn't even that hard. I mean, I, I, I didn't knock myself out or anything. I just like got a bit dazed and felt mm. a tiny bit nauseous. But that was only once. And that was like a crazy, unlucky, like... But if you're skating a rail every day and it's super low and you get control and you get comfortable on it, you know you're not going to backflip and land no, on I know, head. but I'm talking about but, even like some of the pros. Yeah, but, but what I I'm saw. saying is like you build up to that slowly. So like, you, I mean, I'm not saying yeah, that it's they, safe. But they crash. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. Like, you I've seen BMX dudes like with no helmet like smash their face. You one concussion to change your brain permanently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, well, no, like, like for me, like I want to throw out a little bit of uh, awareness with repetitive brain injury. Like if you sprain your ankle 20 times, yeah. your ankle will start to operate differently. Yeah. Now if you do that with your brain. Yeah, no, it's, and, I mean, um, did you just look at Dave Mirror? Yeah, well, committed like, suicide. Exactly, like because of all of this. That was one of the first that, few like, incidents that got me onto where I am. And my wife went surfing yesterday. Yeah. And she came down a wave, and then the lady didn't get out of her way, and they crashed. Yeah. And she just lightly, but I mean, like yeah, a just half a, out of a ten, she bumped her head, and she said she had a headache the whole day. She couldn't turn fast. Her whole equilibrium. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, "Do you now understand why I'm slightly retarded? I have days." I had it last week again, like something at nine o'clock at night. I had to lie down on my yoga mat for 20 minutes because I couldn't stand. Fuck. Like fucking shit's turning. Yeah. Like like heavy metal. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. do that more than yeah, four yeah, times. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. So there's so oh, many, man, but that's, that's also spinal issues in my neck, which I'm going to the States to fix. But <sighs> brain damage, it's real. No, and brain yeah. damage isn't like uh, when we grew up, your friends in a motorbike accident and he's semi-retarded. Brain damage, even if it's one percent less than before, yeah, you've yeah, damaged yeah, your brain. Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, it's just it's sad to see like it changes your personality or the mind. Yeah, not much, but yeah, I'm but slightly more aggressive yeah, 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 and confrontational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My tolerance and patience it's down. Um, and the CTE stuff is real, man. Like yeah. we're gonna see it in a few years. How many uh, guys? Dave Mira is a perfect example. CTE yeah. committing suicide. One of the most famous, most successful BMXs yeah, no, of all that, time. That, that's why, like, if I'm with riders and I'm doing a shoot, if somebody crashes and knocks themselves out, 
I will I will fight that guy from riding again yeah. or skating or whatever. Like I, I like I, if you hit your body and your hip is standing out like fifty centimeters and you want to keep skating, bro, that's your problem. Yeah, I'm bro, not going to stop you. You go. Your body, you can smash. Like you say, you can smash stuff. Yeah. Like your ankle will start working differently, but you can still walk. Yeah. But when your driver is not working, yeah. oh, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. That's because that's like um, if you go deep into it, like a Joe Rogan podcast got me onto this, and I started doing a lot of research and hormone levels. Yeah. So I don't have a lot of testosterone in my body because of... Yeah, because of knocking. You know, and because of certain low testosterone, your body doesn't recover, your muscles don't recover. Yeah. You general fatigue, short of breath. Like, yeah. there's a lot of symptoms. Like, yeah, I sometimes go up a staircase and I'm like, I'm out of breath. And then the other days I do boxing for an hour oh, and yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. It's just, it's fascinating it's interesting that's why i just don't even go to a bike park anymore yeah, yeah, I just yeah, drive yeah, past. i'm like i really yeah. said goodbye to that whole yeah, thing yeah, but yeah. it's because i'm a dumb motherfucker that started on 31 yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I went with the attitude like go big or go home yeah like if you listen to some of my other podcasts you there's a, a deeper yeah. reason yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, because yeah, yeah. my brother died with yeah, a lot yeah, of regrets yeah i was like there's nothing I can't do. Like live life yeah, to the fullest. So I started pushing myself yeah, way too just, much. Just, yeah, just and when you when you crash on small uh, obstacles, like the repercussions are very light. Yeah. But then once you get to a certain level, yeah, and then things go wrong, then the repercussions become big. And that trail at course is the perfect example of yeah, it's at getting, that size. And the, the the scary thing is, like at that size, you start falling almost just as hard as you do on stuff like double or triple the size. If things go wrong, like yeah. you're gonna hit the ground as hard if you're going like over a whatever like three meter jump or six meter jump if yeah. you hit the ground like on a six meter jump because you're going faster forwards you almost don't hit the ground as hard so you mm. the consequences are almost less I actually, so there's there's yeah. like a there's like that kind of in between size jump where it's actually the most dangerous because when shit goes wrong it goes wrong really badly plus uh, crashing like a stuntman is a profession yeah being good and yeah. um i actually have slight ptsd with my one crash <laughs> which I got to go for counseling because I was alone in the mountain and I didn't know how long I was going to lie there. Oh, and a few no, times no, as no. I'm trying to walk out a kilometer, I just wanted to pass out and having basic first aid, lie down, lift your legs, get it back, yeah. li- walk again. And I'm like, <laughs> my fucking bone is sticking out here and yeah, the pieces of fat. Yeah. And it's like, and when you have a brain injury like concussion, you're not thinking straight. Yeah, I was just like, I gotta get home. I gotta wash myself up before the missus gets home, and just yeah, pretend yeah, yeah, like yeah, it yeah. wasn't that bad. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm basically passing out. Yeah, it's getting dark. I don't know how long I'm gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, it's just not like and a joke. It was so bad that, that we watched the movie the other day, and I said to my wife halfway through, I was like, we gotta stop. Like, I'm going in a dark place in my head because I relate too much to this incident. Yeah, 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 yeah. And. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what happens if you're a dumb motherfucker. Starting <laughs> at 31. What, what, one good thing is they do have helmets these days with like uh, chips in that if it gets like yeah. a big shock that it can send a message and yeah, stuff like that. Even on so, the phones, there's... Yeah. So with that one, I started a WhatsApp group. Yeah. Which was Chris, Lance, I think Peter and my wife. Yeah. And I would say, okay, I'm leaving at six. This is the route I'm doing, yeah. my 15 kilometers. And I have to say I'm safe at, let's say, this time. If I don't, y- yeah. so I'm safe. The problem was I had a crash after 15 minutes. So, yeah, so I would have waited wait another still, two, three yeah, hours. Before anybody noticed. Yeah, plus, you? where in the 15 kilometer loop am I? Yeah. But there's a lot of things. Anyway, dude, I see we've just hit two hours. Thank you so much. I can go a Sweet. bit longer. We have about half a viewer still awake <laughs> watching and listening to this. Yeah, well, well done if you made it to the end. <laughs> Let's just go check out Eric's stuff. It's fucking crazy to see uh, some of the stuff that he's taking pictures of. It's just ridiculous. It's amazing, dude. Well oh, done. Thank it's, you, man. It's weird that people become so successful and famous and you just grew up with them. <laughs> I don't even know how it happened. I just went to shoot bikes and yeah, sat in my room and but posted no, shit But on well done, dude. It's, oh. it's, it's very difficult what you're doing and oh, you're amazing you. at it. Go check out some of the festivals and the footage that we talked about. Some of the riders. Um, DM some of the trail crews if you want to get involved yeah, you, in the yeah, industry. Yeah. 
if you want to ride fucking hit up Justin from the Trails yeah. Crew or either on their Trails Crew page on Instagram yeah, or hit whatever hit up anyone like, most people are yeah, super they, cool yeah um, go check out the BMT guys uh, they're also very nice um, if you're at the Trails you're unsure how to hit something just ask someone listen yeah. can I follow you in can you give me an opinion I sometimes say listen I'm going to hit this can you tell me if I should do something different? Yeah. It's a fantastic sport to get involved with. Just yeah, find absolutely. the right people. It's like anything. Yeah, it's a super good community, man. Like even the youngest dude, like there's a little kid, I think it was Jack or something. He's like six years old. He's hitting like the first jump in one of the lines. I mean, it's not huge, obviously. He's yeah. six, but like, dude, I wouldn't not even come close to hit that. Like yeah. it's like two meter gap maybe. And I'm just like six year old, bro. Like, yeah, so any any age, like you can be like sixty, you can be freaking yeah. six, like it doesn't matter, whatever. Like yeah. they'll be look down at to Paul ride the plumber, you. dude. <laughs> <With> respect, <laughs> dude. And I've known that dude since I was a tiny little kid, bro. And he's been shredding for years. Dude, bro. fucking respect, man. Yeah. Dude, we're gonna finish it there. Sweet man, thank you so much. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thanks wicked, for having me. Man. Yeah, wicked, <laughs> dude.